Welcome to the Joe Rogan Experience. Today I have a special guest, Rick Sanchez, from the popular animated show Rick and Morty. Rick, how are you doing today? I'm doing just fine, Joe. Thanks for having me. It's an honor to have you here, so let's jump right into it. How do you feel about the current state of the universe? Oh, the universe is in chaos as usual, but that's just the way I like it. Keeps things interesting. That's definitely a unique perspective. Can you tell us a little bit about your adventures with your grandson, Morty? Sure, Morty and I travel to different dimensions and alternate realities, getting into all sorts of crazy situations. It's a never-ending roller coaster ride of insanity and mayhem. That sounds wild. How do you deal with all the danger and death you face on your adventures? Well, I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Plus, I'm a genius and always have a plan B. And let's be real, death is just a minor inconvenience for someone like me. That's certainly a carefree attitude. Speaking of which, what do you think about the concept of death? Death is just a part of the cycle of life. It's something that every living thing has to face eventually. I just choose to live my life to the fullest and not waste a single moment worrying about it. So, Rick, you're known for your love of alcohol and, let's say, partying. How do you balance that with your responsibilities as a grandfather and a scientist? Ha, well, Joe, it's all about moderation. I know when to put down the bottle and focus on the important things in life. And let's be real, a little bit of alcohol helps me deal with the stress of saving the world multiple times over. That's understandable. On a more serious note, your relationship with your daughter, Beth, is a central part of the show. How would you describe your dynamic with her? It's complicated. Beth is my daughter and I love her. But we've been through a lot together, and we've had our share of ups and downs. I may not always show it, but she means the world to me. That's touching. On a different topic, the show often explores philosophical and existential questions. What do you think is the meaning of life? Joe, there is no meaning to life. It's just a series of chemical reactions happening in your brain. The beauty of it is we get to create our own purpose and give our lives meaning through our experiences and relationships. You're known for your love of technology and gadgets. What's your take on the current state of artificial intelligence and robotics? Oh, AI and robotics are a double-edged sword, Joe. On one hand, they have the potential to revolutionize the world and make our lives easier. On the other hand, they could lead to our downfall if we're not careful. That's why it's important to proceed with caution and ensure that we have proper ethical and safety guidelines in place. That's a wise approach. Speaking of caution, the show often touches on dark and mature themes. What do you think about the impact that the show has had on its audience? Look, Rick and Morty isn't for everyone. It's a dark, twisted, and sometimes cynical take on the world, but for those who can handle it, it offers a unique and thought-provoking perspective on life. And at the end of the day, it's just a cartoon. People can handle a little bit of darkness in their lives. Absolutely. Let's shift gears a bit and talk about what you hope to achieve through your travels and adventures. I don't have any specific goals, Joe. I just love the thrill of the unknown and the excitement of discovering new things. I suppose if I had to sum it up, I'm just searching for the ultimate answer to the ultimate question. So, Rick, you've been to countless dimensions and met countless versions of yourself. How does that impact your sense of identity and self? It's mind-bending, Joe. When you see infinite versions of yourself, you start to question the concept of identity and the idea of a single defined self. Is there a real Rick Sanchez, or are we all just different variations of the same person? It's something I still grapple with to this day. That's some heavy stuff. On a lighter note, the show often features absurd humor and over-the-top action. What do you think draws audiences to these elements? People just love a good laugh and a good thrill, Joe. Plus, sometimes it's nice to escape reality and just enjoy some pure, unadulterated entertainment. That's what Rick and Morty is all about, a fun, wild ride through the multiverse. It's absolutely. The show has a large and dedicated fan base. What do you think sets Rick and Morty apart from other animated shows? It's a combination of things, Joe. The humor is unique and unapologetic. The storytelling is complex and intricate, and the themes are thought-provoking and often dark. Plus, it's a show that's constantly evolving and never afraid to take risks. That's what keeps the fans coming back for more. That's a great answer. So, what's next for Rick Sanchez? Any plans for future adventures or projects? There's always something new on the horizon, Joe. I'm never one to sit still for too long. Who knows what the future holds, but I'm always up for a challenge and a new experience. Fantastic. Thank you again, Rick, for being here on the show. It's been fun. The pleasure was all mine, Joe. It's been great to share my thoughts and experiences with you. All right, folks, that's it for today's show. I want to thank my guest, Rick Sanchez, for joining me and sharing their insights and experiences. It's always a pleasure to have him on the show.